Hello Moodlers, um, I'm going to start with a tutorial that just gives you a general tour, tour of Moodle 2.0 when you log in. It's a little bit different than the previous version, version 1 of Moodle that we had been using for years. I'm logged in as Jane Kleiman and when you log in you are going to fall upon what we call the Moodle homepage. And part of my focus today is going to be the navigation block on the left and the settings block. One thing you want to know about those two blocks is that they are individualized based on the user, um, who exactly is logged in, whether it's our students or whether it's a teacher. And it also varies a little bit depending upon what page you're on. So the navigation block is how you move around the system, meaning the whole modal system, um, quite quickly. And in particular, I think that you'll find it handy once you're logged in to use this pull down menu in the navigation block. If you click on it, it expands. It'll show you the short names of the courses that you're enrolled in. If you see any of those courses are grayed out, that simply means that you're a teacher of that course page and they're not available to the public at this point. Now, if a student or a teacher were going to enroll in an existing course and you needed to navigate to it, you could use this area in the center section to get to each of the categories to tease into specific courses that are, have been made public. Now, another link in navigation that I wanted to let you know about is My Home. When you click on that, it's just another way. Uh-oh, where is my phone that's beeping? probably too far away for me to find. Anyway, we'll just let that beeping go. All right, on this page, you um, have a link. You can see the lion that will be a link to the Hopkins Public School page. And again, you have a list of all your courses with more details, including um, any posted assignments and due dates in those courses that you might be asking students to submit things digitally. So that is the My Home page. Now, the last thing that I wanted to show you is that if you go to one of your pages, so for example, if I go to Jane's Health Science page, that beeping will stop eventually, by the way, that um, you can see that the navigation pane is still expanded. So if that's taking up too much room for you, you could close it. But now when you go to settings, you have a whole new set of options because you now have all the options within settings that are necessary for managing a course page. So settings changed when you as the teacher got into a specific course. So that's what I mean about it being dynamic, that they change depending upon who you are what you, and also where you are. Now, another thing I want to let you know is that you as an individual can do something called docking to these two blocks. So to dock, what you do is you click on this small little rectangle. And when you do that, what happens is, and I'm going to do that to settings as well, is that the block will disappear. And I like it in some respects because it brings the content from the page right up to the top. And to me, this looks better. And it's still a block that's accessible. So if I hover over navigation, I still have um, the ability to click on my courses and toggle through there if I wanted. If I pull my uh, cursor away, then it disappears. So it's just a hover. You don't click. And I think that's kind of nice. But the important thing to remember with the hovering or the docking is that if you dock a block, meaning the, these individual blocks, navigation and setting, that doesn't mean that it's going to be docked for other users in your courses. That's an individual setting, much like the setting where you can either have all of your topic blocks, or your top, which are the ones in the center section, so for each of Jane's units here, you can have them all showing at once, or you can click on this little icon right here and show only one at a time. Kind of cleans up the view of the page, and then if you wanted to get to another topic block, you'd use the jump down menu. That's an individual setting. If, I, if Jane um, collapsed those blocks and was using the jump to menu, that does not mean that that same thing will occur for her students. That's an individual setting. And again, if you wanted to get back and see all your topic blocks at one time, it's a toggle on, toggle off. 
So I hope that you have a bit of an understanding of these two important blocks and how you can manipulate them to customize your view within any given page. And also a little bit about the individual settings that are related to those two blocks.